Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. I've made a video on this. People still ask all the time. But I, I want to change this a little bit, you know, again, per the title. Um, but the people always say, I, I, how can I get my bearded dragon to eat greens? They, they hate greens. They can't eat greens. And then they eat a little bit of greens, but then my bearded dragon's dehydrated and blah, blah, blah. So here, we're going to wrap all of this into one thing here. This is how I get my bearded dragons to eat greens. You see this? Greens. Right there. Hydration. You see this? Water. Right there. Need vitamins? Right there. What are we doing? So... I'm going to show you how I get my bearded dragons to eat greens, how I keep them hydrated, how I make sure they get their vitamins. But here's a big thing, and hopefully I can show you on everyone. Probably can't. But I'll show you how excited your bearded dragon should be when getting food, including greens. That's a big deal. Greens should not be like a, aww. No, greens should be a big deal for them. They should be happy. They should be hungry. So this... These are turnip greens. You get them, they come on the stem with two sides of the leaves. This is what I do. I, I, I don't cut them, I just rip them because I give this, I either give this piece to my tortoise or to my rabbit. So I get all the stem pieces here. Set those aside for somebody else to eat. And then you got these leaves. Two per. Here's my little bin. I just rip them into the size that I know my bearded dragons can eat. If you got a bigger bearded dragon, you rip them a little bit bigger. If you got a smaller bearded dragon, you rip them a little bit smaller. But I kind of like doing a little bit of different sizes too, a little bit of texture, stuff like that. They probably don't care. So I don't care to go, you know, super slow and make sure they're all uniform. I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. Watch how fast I do this one when I don't stop and show you. Unwrap it and then just go, bam. Bam. Because also, you know, I'm busy. Everyone's busy. We don't got a lot of hours to the day. So boom, boom. And also when I go to feed them, I can see if they're a little bit too big at the time and just rip them again. I'm going to rip all these up and then we'll cut back. All right. We're just on the last one here. Now you can see that my greens are already a little wet because obviously I washed them. But what do I do once I've got them ripped? I bring in the spritz bottle and I start spraying. This is just tap water. Just spray, spray, spray wet in these greens. How much do I spray? Good question. Everyone's asked. I like to spray and I like to check and make sure I get a little pool of water. This is still dry down there. So mix and spray. Simple. And before we go any further, reptile rescue family, let's leave today's code word down in the comments. So today's code word is veggies. V E double G I E S veggies. Leave it, show, show YouTube, leave a like, get the algorithm going, get the video shown, then maybe people will understand. See that? Water. Boom, boom. Now, also, just tell me how are your guys' reptiles going. Did anyone get any new reptiles? Anyone's reptiles, you know, anything cool happen? They said their first word? No? Something like that. Just how's it going? Calcium? Without D3. Kosher dill pickle spears. This is really the key. Just in case, everyone always gets confused. I, I, this is just bee pollen. It's the powdered form. I have it in there with those, some, you know, those little silicone packets to keep out moisture. Uh, I have to put a disclaimer now because I used to keep it in like Kroger, a Parmesan cheese thing. And then people are like, oh, you're, you're giving your reptiles Parmesan cheese. So you keep it in here because it's airtight, keeps the bugs out, whatever. Put that on. Now your hand's all goopy. That's all right. Come back with the water. This is important that you come back with the water because we just threw all the calcium basically in the middle and all the bee pollen in the middle. So come back, water it. A little bit of water on my fingers and then you get in here and you mix this thing. That's how you're going to get the calcium on everything and you're going to get the bee pollen on everything and you're going to get this... Uh, 
well, you'll see this whitish, yellowish, watery, pastish mixture going on. Now I can look and I can see I have a good amount of water and everything. That's important because when we go to feed, I'm going to show you what it looks like before we go to feed, before we go to do it. But you'll pick up, I pick up a couple pieces like this. I like to roll them. Then I put this like this and I like to soak them in there. So then they're eating this soaked piece of green that's soaked in calcium and bee pollen. Let's go see how they react. Now the reaction is important. It's important because they should be excited to be eating these greens. They should want to eat these greens. Look at, look, look at Clementine already. I didn't even offer to her yet. She's going crazy. There we go. So now I've, I've pushed the goop formula into the close corner to her. That way I could goop them. Look how wet they are. Look how nutrient they are. Remember the bee pollen acts as a probiotic. Why do they like it? Well, because it's bee throw up, right? Like, let's be honest here. And that means that this smells and tastes like bugs. Bee pollen is also good for us. You can put it in a milkshake. You can do whatever. But um, so this is the good stuff. That's going to keep them hydrated. Look, they're dripping. That's high quality. They're dripping with goop. There we go. Uh, and this is how I feed them. And that's what keeps them excited. Now, I'll feed her a little bit, and then I'll go and I'll feed someone else. So we'll cut back on somebody else, probably Archie. All right, let's get Archie on camera. Now, as I'm getting ready for her, same thing. I'm just going to dip it and bring him in. Now, people will say, well, how do you know how much to, to feed? I don't want to waste. And yeah, waste is a, it's a big concern. It's a good question. Because especially in the U.S., grocery prices in the last two years have more than doubled. And I look at my old bills. So a bundle of turnip greens two years ago was 80 cents. It's now $2.10. That's, that's more than doubled. So I want to make sure that I'm not wasteful. Now, if you've got one reptile, the best thing you can do is kind of manage and learn and see how much your reptile eats. If you've got a bunch like me, Hopefully, you've got a trash compactor. Now, the nice thing about making my greens like this is they're not just for my beardies. I can instantly, and I do, feed Charmander, my green iguana, super red morph, with these, which is what I do all the time. And if I still have a lot left over, you know where these go? To Tortellini, my Skullcata tortoise. So I'm thankfully in a position where I never have to worry about waste. I'm just catching any excess water there. Uh, so I have both worlds as I know how much they typically eat. I know how much they eat on each day of the week because after bug day, they eat a little bit less because they're little piggies on bug day. Hey, I'm not a piggy. Um, but that's what they do. But you, this way that I prepare them super wet, loaded in pollen and calcium, keeps them hydrated, keeps them just a Addicted to the greens. They actually act more crazy for greens than they do for certain bugs, believe it or not. Which, hey, I'm all for that. Now, they still need bugs and they still, well, when I say need, if you want them to grow up and be as healthy and live as long as possible, they need to eat bugs and they need to eat greens and they'll need to eat different types of veggies, you know, for the vitamins and everything like that. But Especially if you're trying to keep the fat down, maybe you don't exercise them as much, you don't stay active with them as much, then feeding too many bugs can lead to, you know, fat. Well, just, it's like eating a, right? For each uh, dubia roach you feed them, it's like a piece of cheesecake. So here's Archie. She's full. I'll show you how much greens I have left. About half my greens are gone. Now, this is actually a full amount that Charmander my iguana would eat. But because I want to be nice to Tortellini, I'm going to give this to my green iguana, and I'm going to give this to the left to Tortellini, so I don't have any waste. All right, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing how I prepare my greens and how crazy some of my bearded dragons, but I'll tell you, they all went just as crazy for greens. When I prepare them like this, and I prepare them like this every day I feed them, which is 
majority five days a week. One day they get bugs and one day they get some, you know, different veggie squash or pepper or whatever is, you know, whatever special at the time. Acorn squash, yellow squash, pumpkin. It gets mixed around. All right, guys, take care. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.